Ah, song finished. That was boring. Alright, shush. Yeah. Hey. So. Hey. Sweet. Hey. <laughs> it's Marco here from Markham 3D. Oh my goodness. So let's let's kind of just do a quick recap of what's going on in Merger. I don't know if you've noticed in Merger, but your fighter, uh, your pod racer is in the thumbnail. I'm just letting you know. Let's crack open the Merger's thumbnail. Um, pod racer. Belly dos 3D. Oi, oi, oi. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Look at this beast that he Merger has created. Uh, Alt R. Beautiful. There we go. So last week we put out, well, I put out a request saying, here is the pod racer. Um, go retexture it, do some edits. This is one of them that's come back. I think in total I've got nine that are back. Oh, actually, no, I've got one more. I didn't download Ben's. Sorry, Ben, if you're watching, I haven't downloaded yours yet, but <laughs> awesome. I'm so happy with that. Um, let's quickly jump over into the stadium. Uh, don't save. So I've already started kind of like trying to build some assets. And so this is kind of like one of the stadiums. Now I'm thinking, how can I go ahead and fill it out? Like, I'm not going to render in, you know, all the chairs and all the people. So my thoughts are, is I'm going to jump in front of a green screen just wear a whole bunch of different clothing and just take photos and then have kind of like a whole bunch of alphas up the stadium. Um, it was either you or Game of Thrones. Easy choice. Thank you. <laughs> so, and this was the debate I was having as well was, do I do a racetrack? Do I do like a cross country thing for this short? Uh, let me just go quickly into full screen. So, because I initially had this idea of having a kind of a track where everyone, like you would have the spectators around, almost like, um, like a speed racer style. But I'm thinking with the story, so in brief, the story will be, because there's not that many people, um, will be a kind of like a bookie who's just gotten in trouble. And so the whole storyline is him having to go into the pit area and sabotaging one of the cars. So we're going to have that, that racing bit in there as well, but then we're going to, I'm going to try and do something where it explodes. And so, and I would, I do, I do like that original shot. That was just kind of like this massive cutaway and, the pods just going full bore. I really liked it. So pretty much today, what we're going to be doing is I'm just going to be building assets. Let's close this one kind of for this track. So this was something that I worked on earlier today. Um, you know, I had a good 10, 15 minutes, just, you know, just, and so this is what we've come up with now, probably with this area here, we'll put some kind of maybe electronic boards or some signage that'll be illuminating in that area. Um, like I said, we'll probably just put a whole bunch of alpha images in the stands here, and then that'll kind of hopefully cut back on render times. This is currently what it's looking like in Eevee, and I think Cycles makes it look a lot schmicker. So I am probably going to go with Cycles. Oh, I got to email that person. Oh, 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 oh. Because there's a uh, email render farm. Beautiful. Anyway, so I mean, this stadium just by itself looks schmick as. Let me just grab. And so what, I was, what, else, what else I've done is I've made this modular. So we've got one piece which doesn't have this area. And then we've got the one piece that does have this area. And also this kind of like side piece. So I can really go ahead and extend it as much as I want. Yeah, that looks schmick. That looks pretty schmick. And that could be kind of like either side of the track. So if I were to go, let's grab all that. Um, let's go into solid mode. Shift D, rotate 180. GY, 
It's going to be about a four meter track. Nope. GY. Let's go about a six meter track. That's six. I think that's still too small. Um, but then if I just kind of grab everything, I'm just going to move everything over. So it's about here-ish. And then this will allow, okay, four meter track, scale on the X axis. And so we'll have something like this. I think very much kind of like going around the, like a Formula One style, but having a pod racer in there. So let's just go, there you go, control S, Muppet. And so this is kind of like that. Uh, why don't you mirror? I will, yeah, I will mirror it. It's just I'm kind of just placing it there for now. I do like this idea. Should we do something differently? I think obviously now we're going to kind of maybe put... Because at the end of the day, I kind of want to... Carter Bean. I do want a sci-fi element to this. I mean, we're going to have stinking pod races coming down. Let's go ahead and start maybe um, linking some of these pod races in. Um, let's just quickly go D Drive, Markham 3D Studios, which is now called Dead Set Digital. So if you want, um, this animation will end up over on Dead Set Digital. Pod racer, there we go. So let's bring in Emerges. I've already done that. Let's go File, Append. And where's mine? <laughs> I actually don't know where mine is. Uh, let's bring this one in. I don't even know what this one is. Speed up, beautiful. All right, so we got two of them in. Rotate 90. Um, and oh, I don't know, I linked it. Did I? Yeah, I did. You idiot. Um, obviously what I've got to do as well, I've got to add the characters and the pilots in there. Um, so with character creator three, what I'll end up doing is not having the full res character. I'll just bring them down very much low poly, especially if they're going to be kind of gunning it <coughs> very quickly. Do I have a camera? I don't have a camera. So I'm going to set it up like this. Let's kind of go something like that. So we're looking at something like this. Let me just quickly add a road texture, extreme PBR, concrete. No, I want an asphalt, a darky asphalt color. There we go. Beautiful. Add new. Let's go. I just want to go 64 samples because we're going to do this really quick. F12, just kind of have a looky see if what we're envisioning is okay. Um, you know, we can go ahead and maybe add some holograms and so on and so on. I was supposed to be recording a video for my channel, but the neighbors that I do some construction work, isn't that delightful? What the heck? Mm. That's right. I haven't updated, um, I haven't updated extreme PBR combo yet for a little bit. So most of the materials are coming through transparent, but that's a very quick fix. It's a very quick fix. If I can get to the shader. Am I there? Yeah, I'm there. Okay, cool beans. And we plug this one into here. Now we press F12. Need to change the size of the performance. Uh, performance from 64, we go 512, 512, F12. Let's just have a looky see. Do we put grass in here? Oh, so this is interesting. I didn't think about this kind of view. If we have a view from the back, because now the the plan of having oh crud of a stick I might just have to get a whole bunch of low poly characters then, which is fine. Um, but that there's a, there's a cube up here for some reason, alt H, there we go. You can go away. Um, but that is looking okay, which is good. And kind of like in the F1 tracks, they are normally 
um, you know, the stadiums don't go around the whole track. It's kind of like cut off into bits. So Brian Wilson, welcome. Um, if my stream stops, it's because my computer has decided to cock itself again. But that's looking nice. I really do like that. Obviously having like five, six of them, I think will look pretty good. So the other thing, let's go ahead and import. Let's go file, import. These are gonna be kind of background assets. So let's go link. Um, let me just go find my things. 3D assets. So these are some models that I created. Where are they? 3D assets. Where the heck are my assets? <laughs> no. These aren't mine. These aren't mine. Where the heck are Botham did I just put all my things. Sorry, just bear with me while I try and find, um, did I put them in OneDrive, Patreon, which I don't recommend signing up for. Yeah, there we go. Okay. It's these ones here. Sure. Let's go with that. Um, and we're going to go that one. Actually, no, let's go this one. Collection buildings. All right. And so we're going to have you know, these types of buildings in the background. Oh, did I not append it? No. File, append, not link. Buildings. What the heck's your problem? File. Yeah, append. The heck? Okay, let's select all these. Space. Make local. Beautiful. All right, there we go. Easy fixed. And so we're going to have kind of like these probably dotted around as a skyline. There we go. And then we, this will kind of maybe even allow some of the, um, we could even go kind of like down a highway route, but I am thinking of doing, oops, there's one here. Uh, I have, I'm thinking of doing it kind of, uh, out in the country start, country side, country side. Oh, itchy nose. Cause that seemed to have done really well. So. Oh my goodness, there's another one here. Sacre bleu. And so obviously these buildings would be more off into the distance. And what I might actually do is probably render them as alphas and then can have them around the back. <laughs> these aren't too high poly. But that's looking okay. So if we went kind of, let's go... No, don't delete. Rotate XX. And then if I were to go, what are you? You're an empty. Oops. Sure. I don't know why you're in the ground. Uh, let's go. Let's just add in an empty plane axis. GZ. And then from here, I'm going to select the camera. Depth of field. And we'll select our empty I don't know which one probably number two maybe are you number two you're number two beautiful and then we went 1.1 1 .1. sure why not f12 and then hopefully those buildings in the background will kind of really be not really blurred suck I think it's just because everything is still so close. Let's just really go 0.5 and then hopefully that'll really accentuate. Nah, stuff ya, you jerkosaurus. 
Oh, it's got a little bit of blur. But I think that works out really well. And we'll probably just do alpha images just for now. Oh my goodness, that looks sick. Kenji, welcome. Oh, I'm so excited to see the end of this. <laughs> Even though I just started. <coughs> so let's go around. Let's kind of have a look at what the current F1 tracks look like. Uh, F1 track images. Um, 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 um. Monaco. How can we sci fi up Monaco? Like, I mean, oh, say, so leave a comment if you've ever been to Monaco. I've been to Monaco and oh my goodness, it was the best place, most expensive place, but the best place. So I really like, this is a nice shot because we've got all the buildings going up into the mountain. That's actually quite nice. We kind of had that in the initial shot. So funny enough, fun fact, um, there's a swimming pool right here, right behind pit lane. There's a stinking swimming pool. Random. Because this this bit here where the start finish line, this is all just one giant car park. It's crazy. So let's go ahead. Um, I do like the idea of having a banked surface. Actually, we'll just undo. Ah, let's delete that. So from here, what I'm going to do, Stephen Scott, thank you very much, buddy. From here, I dare you to type PO into the browser. PO. What's that? PO. What are you talking about? <laughs> Are you okay, buddy? <laughs> Are you after post office? I don't know. I'm trying to work out what you wanted. What did you want from that? Doesn't it end in... Oh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't, see? P.O. Ha-ha. Power supply for the 3090, which I wish I had. So, so in your face. <laughs> All right, so from here, let's continue on. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Don't need any of that. <laughs> uh, so from here, what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to do in... I won't do it in using a Bezier curve because I find that Bezier curves are kind of, they're really hit and miss and they kind of go really harsh into the um, kind of like the next point. So what I'm actually going to do is delete that and we're going to curves and I'm going to add in a NURBS curve. Okay, so from here, what this will mean is we can go scale Y zero. GY, I'll put that in the middle. And then we'll scale this up, scale these ones up. Uh, and then from here, what I can do is I can just go E to extrude and I'll hold control to make sure it snaps to position. Um, here we will do another control like that. And let's kind of go maybe something like this, E to extrude. And then we've kind of got a really sharp 90 degree angle, which is not really what I wanted. Let's kind of make a little bit elongated, whoops, sorry, E to extrude Y. So you can kind of see that it's already started calculating from here and it's giving me like a really nice curve where with Bezier, you got to kind of get it right. So that's why I normally, for things like this, I will actually just use the NURBS. All right, so what we're gonna have is this track is going to kind of bend in and we will tilt the track. So it comes around, flattens out, and then it will go into the next corner. And then why am I doing this is because I want to build up 
assets. I want to know what I need to build. Oops. And so we'll pick this up. E to extrude. It's about there-ish. Uh, let's go. Actually, just move this over to about here. All right. So we have a nice curve. Let me just E to extrude on that one as well. Just add a little bit more. Whoops. Let me go into item. If I zoom out, I can't see. But if I go into view and change the clipping distance, just add an extra zero in, I can see a lot more. I think that's more of a safety feature of Blender. From here, let's go ahead and add in a plane. Uh, scale by 10. Beautiful. I'm going to put in a few edge loops in here. Now, the reason for that is, is because when it's going to start bending with the track, um, it'll just kind of give it more freedom of movement. So with that selected, let's go into add modifiers. I want to add in an array modifier first. We're going to count to fit the curve. Boop. And now this is going to be as long as this curve here. So in saying that, we go into add modifier, let's add in a curve modifier. Select this one, there we go. So now we've kind of applied this track directly onto here. Next thing, let's select our NURBS. From here, I'm gonna select probably these two points, come up into item and we're gonna mean tilt. And let's go Let's go 30 degrees. And so you can see that now the track has been tilted. So it's gonna come in as they come in, they tilt. And then we will do the same on this side. Let's go 30 degrees. Nice. So it's gonna be, they're gonna come straight through around on the bend. Then they're gonna go into a flat surface where they come through the stadium. And then from there, <coughs> um, it'll continue on to the track. Sick. E to extrude. Oops. GY. Something like that. Nice. Nice. Oh, that's looking so good. I'm a little bit annoyed about these characters now in here in the stadium. Hmm. So, because mm. I mean, technically, yeah, we can use an alpha and I just need to make sure that kind of like we will need to film from, you know, something like this position, but even then it might be yuck. I think we're going to have to go with the low poly stuff. Let's just get a few motions down and that they're, they're just kind of like repeating those motions but they're sitting down in chairs, da 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 I think that's the way. CGI tech, welcome buddy. I reckon that that might be the way to go. From, what should I do with the front of the track? This, this was my conundrum, is what do I do with the front of the track? Now, I actually might grab these two points because these are the points that have tilt. This one and this one here have tilt. And I'm actually gonna raise this up. Let's go GZ. So that technically the track is still down low, uh, the bottom of the track. So they're actually literally kind of having to go up. Yeah, I like that. That's not bad. Okay, asset wise, let's go through, we've got our buildings which will be in the background, overlooking this whole space, almost like the Sunshine Coast Formula One. Um, what else could we put in here? I do like these stadium ideas. <laughs> Definitely signage, we'll, uh, we'll probably put that into a different blend file and then import them as need be. Let's actually go ahead. We'll start making some of them. Uh, Blender, let's crack open a new blend file. How many do I have already open? Let's close that one. There we go. From here, I'm gonna go into full screen. Let's go file. 
save as before we forget scene um, assets signage save as from here let's kind of make a board scale scale on the Y something like that I think looks pretty schnazzy let's grab these delete faces uh, let's go let's maybe go file import file import images planes I'm going to go to my Mananade. So I started making like a fake brand. It's called fake brand. That's clever, which isn't there. File management is very important. Let's go into 3D assets. Let's go into textures. Mark on 3D. Decals. Yep, these are the ones. And we will go into long scale so it kind of sits on there g to the x beautiful from here let's grab this piece i to do an inset and then what this is going to be is just going to be kind of like a little bit of a border that sits like so are you which side are you in you're on the wrong side buddy wrong side of the tracks from here let's go into the materials manner manonade there's a little parody i was thinking of doing um, let's go into shading and I'm going to plug the color into emission as well. Alpha is plugged in. So if I were to go into rendered mode, let's go. I kind of want to keep that though. This will be our light as well. White is fine. Let's select this outside control numpad plus to increase our selection let's create a new material and this one will be a black or a dark gray specularity down and the roughness up so when the real slim shady please stand up a sign doesn't seem this is bright enough or it's being killed oh wait Let's check what cycles looks like. Cycles. How could I animate this? I mean, technically, technically we could do Mm. let's all right let's try and animate this i'm going to put a few edge loops in eggs welcome if you're new to the channel welcome hit the subscribe button it really helps me i keep my content let's do some funky stuff now i want this to kind of rotate around now the problem is is i can't just move it off screen and bring i could but i'm not going to i'm gonna <laughs> i'm gonna move it off screen and bring it over I could render a whole bunch of images. It's not gonna work. So I'm just technically thinking, I mean, we could go backward. Mm. I mean, it is a sci-fi thing, so technically... Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I was thinking of, a, is there any other way that I could do it without doing that? I mean, technically we could even, um, you know, bring this out off the board a little bit. And then we kind of go, I, whoops, let's go I, location, rotation, and scale. I'm thinking about this. And then technically we could replace an image with all these. So let's go with this. Something like that. I rotation, location and scale. 
frame 100. Let's just go rotate Y 360 I because if we kind of want to, if we want to go like a hologram route that looks stupid <laughs> I'm not gonna lie that's gonna look stupid but how would you spin it around because we're actually deforming the mesh I mean we could use shape keys and we kind of manually compress everything that could work we could um, that would require a shape key all right let's do let's let's do that I'm gonna try this I don't know what it's gonna look like let's go shift S cursor to selected from here what I'm gonna do is go into our vertex groups this one is gonna be our no, sorry, shape key. So this can be our bias. So this is kind of like our default thing. Hey, Screven, welcome. Um, from here, we're gonna go min right. And so I'm gonna grab everything. Come over here, scale on 3D cursor, scale Y zero. Cool. Next one, let's create a new one. And we're gonna call this min left. Select here, shift S cursor to selected. I don't know if this is going to work. So that's why we're, tr we're troubleshooting now. I'm not going to put a lot of effort in it. I'm going to fail fast. The whole point of being agile. So we're going to have. Yep. Okay. That's what we're going to have. At frame 110, I am going to right click. There it is. Insert keyframe. And then at 120, it's going to go to one. Right click, insert keyframe. Next frame, it's going to be at. Oops, actually. No, no, no. Right click. Oh, geez. Right click, insert keyframe. Right click, insert keyframe. Right click, insert keyframe. How does that look? Not bad. The, uh, the ideas there. You wouldn't notice, which is the major thing. And then how does this all work? So if I go to the first frame, right click, insert keyframe, right click, insert keyframe, I right click, insert keyframe, go to frame 200, insert keyframe, in, replace keyframe, I location rotation scale. Let's go 200 T. Let's press T. Ah, oh, what's the thing where it kind of like loops around? It's like circling. Oh, far out. I don't even know what it is. Let's go into the graph editor. Oh, wait, no, it's not going to. Mm. My audio is glitchy. Maybe that's me because I'm yelling into it because I'm so freaking loud. Da -da -da, it's... Sorry, 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 sorry. I'm excited. I just can't hide it. You know, you know, you know. Da -na 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 -na. I want to. Bezier, how do you loop? Is it T? It's not T. Is it J? It's not J. T up here. Circle. Make, make cyclic. Shift E. Aha. That's what I wanted. So it's going to kind of spin. And it's going to go swipe, swipe. Beautiful. That 
That's not bad. Oh, jeez, what did I do? Uh, control S. Let's just save that. I do like that. I think, I mean, at the end of the day, we're not probably going to be seeing too much of it. I do like the fact that it's kind of sitting off. So let's go control S. Uh, default cube. We'll just rename this to panel. Uh, delete that one. Delete our light. This one will be our signage one. There we go. File. What is this? File, file, save as. Asset signage. Now let's jump back over into the other one. Sorry about the audio. File. I'm going to link it. Control V. Asset signage collection. Signage one. Um, rotate Z 90. Rotate Z 180. And then what I was thinking, what I was thinking, you know, having it something like, oh, did I select, no, 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 no. Having it, yeah, something like that. Shift, can I do an array on this thing? No, I can't. Shift D, Y, X. Let's grab these, G, Y. And technically, as we scrub through it, everything's in unison. Mm. 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 I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's grab both of these. And I'm just going to do just a quick duplicate. Ah, oh, darn it. Darn it, Mr. Arnott. Dun, dun. Whoops, dun. I'm just going to duplicate some of these. Go along the x-axis, buddy. There we go. Shift D, X. There we go. So if we kind of have a look at that frame 200, I'm just going to press F12. I just want to see if we actually can see those lights. Just out of curiosity. I could have done control B just to highlight the certain area. Yeah, I'm spewing that I have to put in the models. Darn it. Yeah, see, that's going to look pretty cool. Having multiple signs as well, moving around. I don't like that it's concrete though. So that is weird. Why is it concrete? Did I delete a face? Let's just jump back into this one because I would have thought, what is this material? It's a white material. It's what I wanted. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. Hmm. Maybe, maybe we do make it just black. And then that will kind of grab that jazz. Let's just go control S, save, file, open recent stadium. Uh, let's go into camera view, control B, F12. Now it's just going to render that a little bit because that's all we want to see. What the Hickerbotham? What the Hickerbotham? So let's check. Let's bring this forward maybe because I'm a numpty. And I will just check the normals quickly. Face orientation, face orientation is fine. Let's go control S and save on that one. Let's come over back into this blend file, file open recent stadium, F12. And hopefully now it's just gonna be all black. I think maybe it was just sitting in. Yeah, that looks kind of cool. 
and just get a few of those signs going. Um, I wouldn't mind putting some sort of holographic model. How to do that one. I've got ideas on how to do it. I think maybe what we'll do as well is maybe when one of the cars is going past, it's showing up, you know, like right here in the center, like this is the car that's going past. And maybe we can even just do a render of the pilot standing there with the face. In the face. But my big concern is filling up this area in here. So let's go back. Hmm. Do we kind of go with with a building just there? I don't think that's the right call. Hey, mate, welcome. I don't think that's the right call. There needs to be... There needs to be something. I wouldn't mind a building of some sort, purely for the fact is then we don't need as many models. Um, what have they got in pod racing? Uh, Pod racer N64 <laughs> tracks. Whoops. N64, not three, buddy. Hang on, what's. Pod racer was on the N64. It was on PlayStation. Might be on PlayStation. So I'm just kind of having a look. Because, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, it is somewhat inspired by it. And you can see that it's very simple textures. So I was hoping for something maybe around Coruscant, see what they've got like that. I do like the idea of maybe going on a highway. 4K, welcome, buddy. It's just a yes. So I'm starting to slowly put things together. So at the moment, what we're doing is we're building out this thing. So this is where we are at the moment. I don't know why that car's gone all hunky-dory. Alt R. All right, whatever. So yeah, the question is, is what's what's gonna be down here? Um, probably one of the sides might have to be some pits or something. But I'm trying to work out what, what should it be? So we could edit maybe these pieces and that's kind of like where we get the pits. Um, I would say we're going to be predominantly looking at this side of the track. That's what I think. I think we're going to be predominantly looking at this side of the track. Uh, I don't know how much of the pod racing we're actually going to see because, I mean, it's going to be very heavy. Um, and, but going through the story, it will kind of make sense on... I think it'll be more in the background. So maybe that's what it needs to be. Maybe we need to kind of make some corporate boxes. Some corporate boxes above the pit area. So let's go ahead and do that. So from here, what I'm going to do is... Okay, we've got our buildings, so let's hide them because we don't need to see them. What is all signage? Let's select them and we'll go move them into um, finish line. Finish line. Okay. Um, let's hide them for now. Let's grab these pieces. Um, and I, but I will leave one side just so I can use that as a reference point. And let's grab these pieces, move to finish line. And then these can hide. There we go. You move to finish line and hide. Oh, all right. You two. Come on, you two. Finish line. Hide. So from here, what are we going to do is create some corporate boxes. Now, this is interesting. How are we going to make the corporate boxes? Because this is the stadium is here. Normally, the corporate boxes are back a bit. Um, but I mean, it could be the case is this is why you got the cheap seats and this is why you don't see it. Or we just bring the, well, we just bring the corporate boxes back. Because these are the cheap seats. Let's do that. So from here, what's going to add in a cube? Um... Yep, let's go with that. 
I'm going to scale this up. Um, let's kind of bring it back. Let's grab this. Let's go G to E to extrude to something like so. So, I mean, if you're, you know, sitting here, yeah, you're going to, you're going to spew if you're sitting here. <laughs> oh, and you're going to spew if you're sitting there as well. How the heck do they call it to corporate tracks? Um, let's go Australian F1 Corp corporate box. It's going to use that as an example. Let me think a little bit. Where are my live streams over there? Images. So are they just above the pits? Maybe. Okay, here, this is a good example. So we've got, these are all small stadiums. Bright. So they've got like small stadiums really far away. They're not tall at all. Like this one's tall though, but that's above the pit. Oh, jeez. So complicated. See, Adelaide's, what's, oh, what's, 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 Abu Dhabi? Is that one? I don't even know how to spell it. All right, let's have a look. What does this look like? See, because we've got massive stadiums here. And then we've just got empty spaces. That's all it is. How bizarre. And then... Yeah, right. I think maybe I've just built the stadium too big. But you know what? That is fine. So, what we're going to do then is I'm just going to move it down to about here. And what it will be is along that area will just be kind of like a blank area. Um, from here, let's grab this. I'm just going to move this back. For scale, let's just quickly shift right click. I'm just going to add in cube scale shift Z GZ this person here is about two meters high GZ there we go so that is my kind of like reference person um, and what that will allow me to do is grab this G to the Z this person can see these guys have got small seats. I mean, this at the end of the day is kind of like half a meter in there. I made these platforms half a meter, so there's room for them to sit. Sure, it's a little bit snug. I'm um, you know, take inspiration from Star Wars Pottery Set. I did have a look, but I couldn't really see anything. Um, Let's go seven. Might as well make all these numbers kind of the same seven four okay so we've got um three meters here so go e three e three um but what i'll obviously do is just build the one area and then we'll just replicate it up a bit this first one here can have a balcony so people can chill out and they would have the view of the track over there and down the straight line beautiful Pimp Nizzle. That's what I gotta say. Um, and then we could probably do the same here. What we'll just do is kind of cut that down and then we can kind of have it around some of the other parts. Beautiful, done, happy. Let's now work. Okay. So from here, there we go. A little bit lost. Okay. We'll make this 0.1 high. So this will go to 3.9. 3.9. Now I get stuffed. This one here will go to 6.9. 6.9. 6.9. 6.9. 6.9. 6.9. 6.9. 6.9. 6.9. 6.9. 6.9. 6.9. 6.9. 6.9. 6.9. 6.9. 6.9. 6.9. 6.9.
done. Let's kind of now go ahead and just clear this jazz, delete faces. There we go. So from here, we need to kind of make some windows. I'm gonna make like so, and like so. Let's grab these three windows here, this one here, and this one here. I'm gonna press I to do an inset and then I to do another inset for the individual faces like that. From here, we're gonna go into individual origins, E to extrude, and I'm gonna extrude along each face as normal. So now we've kind of got something like that. We're not gonna put a lot of detail into this because this is obviously gonna be, you know, a fast, quick shot. We might have a shot of the person standing here watching them go past so the camera kind of like and if that's the case the corporate box will go on the other side um, but that's future marker's problem yep yeah. and then we can kind of just increase these buildings like put an array on them so for instance if i went into modifiers add modifier add an array there we go we've got like a few corporate boxes um and then we'll make just some barriers that go in between the boxes. Beautiful, done, happy, chitty, chitty, bang, bang. Um, From here, I'm gonna bring this one up. Ooh, actually, it's not a bad idea. Maybe they all have. Cool, okay, anyway. So let's go now into Oops. Um, I think that's a, oh, no, let's just go with it. I was gonna say that might be a little bit too much. So I want this to be maybe like so, rotate X, Y, nine degrees, and then we'll scale on the Y axis. Not in the middle, how annoying. Something like this. And then this would be our banister for them to lean up against. From here, I'm just gonna grab this edge, Shift D, Z to duplicate that up. E to extrude, Z, bring that up. Select these two faces, Control B to do a bevel. Delete face. From here, I'm just gonna grab this face in here. Shift D, let's go rotate 90 degrees and put it about here, it's about middle, scale that in. Uh, e to extrude, down. Just line it up a little bit better. There we go. Shift D, X, like so. Ah, itchy nose. And there we go. So at the moment, Josh, we're just kind of building up a, a track that we're gonna be racing the pod races on uh, just for an animated short. Why insert boundary sometimes goes upper side, not bottom? Not sure I know what we're talking about there. <laughs> um, from here, I'm gonna grab this. Let's go shift D, rotate 90, scale on the Y axis. G, I'm just gonna throw it in like so, scale Y. Beautiful, shift D to the X, something like that. Not being too concerned with this, shift D, rotate 90, G, throw that in there. Shift D, X, throw that in there. Nice, so that is pretty much our corporate box. I think maybe what we'll do is throw an image in there as an alpha, just so we can kind of have that difference. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Hit the subscribe button. Just do it, just do it. Yeah, nice. That's not too bad. I'm actually fairly happy with that. Let's go add modifier, add in an array. Beautiful. Let's, while we're at it, add in another array. And we will go zero, whoops, one, zero. Yeah, nice. And that allows these corporate boxes and then this will allow our character to kind of be in there. And then when they push the button, 
all hell breaks loose. <laughs> Beautiful. And then we can just, yeah, throw in some images or we can just make the glass super mirrory. Um, and then we don't actually see it because it all depends where the sun is. So if we go into rendered view, let's just press zero, control B on the outside. Let's just press F12. I think even though I've got everything hidden, jeez, sorry. Even though I've got everything hidden, it all should appear except for the big buildings that I've hid. So I think that works really, really well having those boxes there. Um, definitely this will have to come on to the other side. Um, but like I said as well, we can kind of mirror it and so it's on both sides. Um, what else? Let's probably give, we can probably give this a roof. I reckon we don't really need that. Let's press F. Oh, excuse me. It's time. Quarter past 10. Chase. Chase, cheese and whiskers. From here, I can also go into a mirror modifier. And what I'm gonna do is select the world origin as our mirror. There it is. Can I just select the track? Nope. Why? There we go. So now it's on the other side. And so if we kind of bring this back that should really give us our kind of like cityscape behind it. Um, we'll push the buildings back, make them even bigger. Yeah. Mm. Aaron, welcome, buddy. My man, my. Jeez, sorry. <laughs> Look at that. And so that to me, yeah, that works really well. So that side is where everything is going to be. Yeah. So we could probably, we could potentially, you know, have the camera up here ish and have them follow the cars like on this side. And then obviously once they get into this stadium area, um, Alt H, you know, we lose track of them but that would probably be a cool shot. Something like that. So we're gonna have all the shadows and, oh. Might even have like a good view of the whole area. So let's, okay, let's, um, let's, let's do some challenging stuff. Okay, how am I going to make a tent? If I go, Shift A, let's add in a mesh and let's add in a circle. Let me go G to the Y, bring that over. How would we make a tent? There we go, I'm in edit mode now. If I go E to extrude, let's go scale, GZ. So we've got something like this. Let's put an edge loop through here. Have you used sky texture yet? I have, but I'm just using a HDRI at the moment. Um, I used it in a different shot. I can't remember which one, <laughs> but no, I have used the one that comes with Blender. Um, I do have a quick video explaining on how to get the HDRIs that come with Blender. So oh, ploppers, don't do it. Baby, come back. Ah. Um, yeah, I do have a short video on how to use kind of like these textures that are in here somewhere. These ones. Hmm. Um, is a tent the right thing? I think, I reckon we could probably do something a little bit more clever. Let's grab our like this, let's go GY, bring that over. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna stretch this by four. Now we've got squares. Uh, from here, I'm going to, I wanna make some sort of funky 
like style. Let's maybe go like that. Scale on the Y. Bring that out. I'm going to bring this down. So this. Let's go GZ1. I'm going to get these corners. GZ.5 to the minus. GZ.5 to the minus. I'm just trying something a little bit different. Let's go add modify. Let's throw in a subdivision surface. And if I were to put an edge loop here-ish, how does that make me feel? It makes me feel that this here should be a lot bigger. And then we go shade smooth. Um, let's up this. And then this is kind of like a tent. Yes, welcome. Uh, Bendik, welcome. Um, this will kind of be almost like a market stall. So this is where we could probably put some more ads on so on and so forth. So maybe that might be the next competition that uh, I run on my discord is let's just create a whole bunch of fake ads and then we can use them as signage on here. Oops, uh, that's individual origins. Let's go into medium point scale on the X. So something kind of like that. And that could be nestled in between the stadiums. Um, what this will allow me to do is if I were to select these outside points, shift D P separate by selection, we get these points. I could probably, where is it now? E to extrude along the Z scale out from here. From here, can I a skin modifier? Uh, let's get rid of the subsurf. Oh, how does it work? It's not a skin modifier. There's a modifier that makes it solid, not solidify. Oh, actually, maybe solidify might work. No, because solidify doesn't create a face. It just kind of like moves the edge out. Oh, which one is it? Wireframe? I could try a wireframe. Oh, no, 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 no. That didn't work at all. <laughs> oh, fine. E to extrude, Alt S. Something like this. Uh, from here, let's go into now a solidifier zero. And then from here, we can grab these end pieces. I know there's another option I could have done, but off the top of my head, I'm having a brain fart. So let's just go with that scale on the Y. And so these are kind of like the pylons that are holding that up. But because this is going to be far away, we're not really going to see it. Bedrock welcome. Cows play welcome. So we're building a scene for a new animated short film that I'm working on. Let's get control A to that one. Let's get control A to that one. We'll select both of these control J to join. From here, let's kind of bring everything back. Um, it's gonna be a nice massive tent. Kind of maybe just hidden away like so. Shift D, rotate. Will we see that? We will see that, which is awesome. This is still, uh, we haven't created the bottom half of this building yet. Um, so maybe what we might do is just actually just lay oh, chase cheese and whiskers, select this tab, uh, bring it down a smidgen. And then what are we going to have underneath? I think maybe we might just kind of grab these faces underneath here shift D P separate by selection let's grab that something like this whoa whoa settle there sonny 
Uh, get rid of that one. There we go. And then that'll allow that. Maybe let's put in a ground just so we've kind of got some reference rather than everything just floating in midair. Shift A, let's add in plane. Something like that. Let's go G, Z, bring it back down. Cool. And then with this track, what we'll do is let's put an edge loop through here. It's going to go G, Z, ever so slightly bring that up. Let's put something on the edge, something on the edge, and then we can kind of go G, Z, and then that'll kind of merge into the ground a little bit. It does not. How annoying. Let's go GZ, bring that back up. Just so it's touching in there. Beautiful. And then if we kind of go F12 into here, Control S, let's save that. Computer screaming out in pain. That was a big save. Let's go F12. Um, Okay. <laughs> right. Um, so we're, yeah, we're just creating a kind of like a racing scene for the pod races um, that we were working on, I think last week or the week before we made these pod races. And then with my community on the Discord, we've, um, I've got about 10 different copies, uh, 10 different version of these pod races now. So that seems to be going pretty good that's looking quite nice these tents look nice uh one thing that we don't have is some fencing so what we'll do there is i'll just attach it to this jazz in here let's go shift d scale on the y axis Oops, scale on the y axis and then we'll just go e to extrude along the z axis something like so Control L, E to extrude on a scale on the Y. I probably should just use the mirror modifier. This bit here looks a little bit weird, so we'll have to change that up. Can you show? There we go. Oops, there we go. So it is available to download for free over on my Gumroad store. I don't know, it's like gumroad.com slash Markham 3D. Markham 3D, I believe. Is it there? Hang on, I'm just checking, just checking. Am I going crazy? I thought I put it on here. Where the heck did I, oh, there it is. Ugh, that's actually a really bad thumbnail. Um, so it is, yeah. Control V. Over on there, you can download it for free. Remind me to change the thumbnail because that thumbnail is shocking. Um, okay, got to do that. Remember, thumbnail change. All right. Jamie, welcome to the stream. So, yes. Anyway, so back to this. It is looking nice. Obviously, once you start adding color and so on and so forth, it's going to look the pizzicato. Um, we will continue these sci-fi buildings around some more. Some of the things I know that I'm going to need to build will be... I need to build look kind of like an office space. I need to build some sort of like walkways in between buildings. Um, I need to build a pit area. but I'm fairly happy with that. Uh, so once this animation is done, which is nowhere near completed, it'll be on the Deadset Digital channel um, when I'm doing you know short videos every Tuesday-ish. Mm, I do like it. Yeah, yeah, definitely some signs, definitely some signs. Over here, we've kind of um, put these signs up in here. And kind of when we go through and animate them, they will actually kind of like rotate. 
and then they kind of swipe from side to side and then we kind of get like a animated signs effect so definitely i'll be putting in some more things in there if you want to help me out with this jump over onto the discord my discord there is a link somewhere near the top of this chat and we will do competition time let's go make you fake make a fake ad sign uh, make a new comp i'm just gonna do it now make a fake brand <laughs> Um, PNG image. Let me just have a quick look. What did I render the file at? Mark on 3D storage. No, D drive. Mark on 3D studios. Sorry, I'm just looking at the other screen. Where did I put it? No, you daft monkey. 3D assets. No, you daft monkey. 3D assets, textures, mark and 3D, decals. I'm just gonna quickly check what size I'm running at. Ah. Okay. Let's go 2000 times 500. There we go. It's not really a comp, I don't know. Free assets. Start finish line, absolutely. This is nowhere near complete. Um, but you know, once we start coloring this in, you know, I can see that this is going to be red and then we'll shrink wrap a brand name over the top of it. Uh, do you do any Mantaflow and stuff in Blender? I haven't really done too much Mantaflow and Blender. Um, I just don't have the time. It just takes too long to kind of like compulate, <laughs> calculate. So definitely kind of like what we can do is how we've done previously as well. Let's kind of quickly go. Um, let's quickly create a checkered finish line. Oh, actually, no, I might already have that. So in my decals, not that one. Oh, where are my decals? Where the heck are my decals? Did I not start making like a decal set? Oh, here they are. Numpty. Let's go bring that back. Let's jump back into this one decal sheet decal sheet here we go uh nope you didn't want to do that so let's go file import images planes let's select that one and we're going decal street there we go let's rotate x y nine degrees so let's have a quick look what we're looking at with this decal Yeah, Flip Fluids is pretty good. Uh, but once again, I haven't really played with it too much. Uh, I did, once upon a time, play with it a lot. But it was just too, oops, too time consuming. Come on. Rotate Z 90 degrees. Uh, something like that. I'm going to put an edge loop through here. And then I can select this delete face. That will allow me to have the finish line. Uh, let's go zoom in. I'm just gonna add in a few loop cuts. From here, let's go into the shrink wrap modifier onto this. Um, we want to project on surface. Yes, negative. There we go. Now our problem is, GG that these don't line up with each other. So I'm just gonna kind of line up um, with the previous lines and then that should look a lot better. It doesn't look a lot better, but if I go into offset and we go 0 0.002, now when we come into rendered view, we should see that we've got the checkered thing. Of course, let's go out of this select this thing yep from here i'm just going to extreme pbr and let's just go add new and now if we go into here 
Bruh, kangaroo dinner is hilarious. Oh my goodness, I was so angry about that. <laughs> I was so emo. But in saying that, when it did fall, I was like, surely that's going to make a good video. Let's go zero. So it's still... Hmm, point. Let's maybe just add in a subsurface over the top. Up here. And we're going to change that to a simple subsurface. It just seems like it's sitting on top. Why are you sitting on top? 0.02. What else? Let's get rid of the subsurf. Uh, from here, we're coming to this. I'm going to press. Numpad zero, Ugh. control S, let's just save it. I don't know why this ship is spinning around. Whatever floats your boat, mate. Ah, that's why, because it's animated. That's fine, that's the actual blend file that has it animated. Let's just F press F12. Do you read chat? I do read chat. <laughs> Uh, do you ever, I haven't used quick, so I've wanted to, um, I normally use substance painter. Uh, that's the transfers finish line. If I've ever seen one. Yeah. What the heck? Why is it? Idiot. So I haven't updated extreme PBR combo for a while. So this goes here. Fixed. Muppet. El Stupido. I'm thinking I might change the roof. Yeah, that looks way better now. Use the noise, bruh. Yeah, 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 I know. These are just test renders. I'm not going to go full out on them. Um, I do, let's go just on these tents over here. I'm just going to add in a little bit of a red color. Um, we'll call this red tent just to kind of give it some love. There's one in there as well. Copy to selected, um, this, oops, this this uh copy to selected and we'll do the same <coughs> excuse me do the same for that let's just quickly go you smart you project oakley doogly smart you project oakley doogly that looks kind of bad but that's fine for now we will fix that all later Make some arches for the roof. Yeah, I think, I reckon a white material rather than a concrete would be better. Oh, that's so cool. That's looking pretty schmick. And then we've got to kind of put in the little thingamabobs. We could probably put a poster on the wall there. Oh, that actually looked pretty good on the side of the corporate boxes. Um, yeah, these bits up here, I reckon need to be changed. Um, but like I've said before, I've made this all modular so we can change that all around. Someone just downloaded the pie over there, there. Someone just downloaded the pod racer. That's good. <laughs> all right. That's coming along nice. Kind of want to go ahead and start adding. Let's bring these over. So it's not so. Break that up a little bit. Rotate Z minus no degrees. Um, we can always kind of grab this jazz, move it around in here. Um, just like we saw in the Melbourne image. Two, three. 
deselect that. Shift D. Let's go rocket staff to G. Rotate 45. And then they're on the inside of the chicane. And then they can kind of see everything that comes past. Uh, actually, no, we stop that. Let's delete that. Let's come back in. What I'm going to do is select this, 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 control I, everything inverted and H, as I just want to be focusing on this for now. And what we're going to be doing is kind of making a smaller version of it. So for starters, let's grab this section here, tab. I reckon we get rid of this bit up here. Control L, delete vertices. There we go. So that bit's gone. From here, I reckon we get rid of these pieces here. Control L, delete. Merge by distance. There we go. That's better. Oh, you know, that's right. Control L. What? Suck a lemon. Okay, let's do it this way. C, delete vertices. And I wouldn't mind getting rid of all this jazz. Control L, delete vertices. Let's get rid of this bit. Control L, delete vertices. And then I'm gonna grab all this G and I want this to kind of be a smaller stand. Oh, geez. Uh, make a tower on the side. Yes. With characters waving in the final round. Yep. That'll be the plan. Also, do you make a shader? Because I suck. I suck at them as well. I, yep. I completely agree with you. So, I don't need that anymore. With this, let's kind of resize this jazz. We can probably get rid of this and this. Control L, delete, Verta sluice. And let's grab this G to the Y. Something like so. GZ. And actually what we'll do is we'll make this super low. Since this is going to be more of a smaller little stadium. Shift D. Geez, computer struggling. It's okay, baby. Control S, let's save. And now if I go Alt H, we've got this nice little stand. Let's just go select this one. Control A to apply a modifier. Control A to apply the modifier. Let's select both of these. Control J to join. And then what we can do is, you know, we can even scale like by four. Uh, rotate by 45 degrees. And then we've got kind of like a stadium seating. I don't think we'll really see that in this shot, but that's fine. Did I? Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, that's fine. I thought I deleted something. I did, you daft idiot. Okay, let's grab... Bear with me while I fix up my wonderful mistakes because I'm a Muppet. Let's go something like this. No, this one. No, this one. Come on, man. Pull your head in. Yeah, there we go. Yep. And then we grab that and that. Nope, I did it wrong, but oh well. I don't care. Let's go like that, all the way to there. Scale X minus one. Or not. Let's select this edge in here. G to the X. There we go. That's better. Why deleting that stuff? Because I am. Ah, uh, tell me you copied them. 
Yes, I did. I'm pretty sure I did. Oh, hey. I didn't realise we were here. Okay. I'm out of water now. It's time. Oh, quarters to 11. I'm getting old. So that is looking pretty schmick. Um, so we've got an issue here with a fence. Um, technically, that fence should probably cut here and go along with the track. So that's something we'll fix later. We've got this issue here where it's all brown. We've got a fence line in here. Do I put a chain mail fence? I think I might have to. Chain link fence, whatever you want to call it. Love these buildings at the back. They're fantastic. They're on gum road as well. Yeah, that is looking so cool. And then we'll put a few more buildings in the background. Yeah, nice. Let's leave it there because I'm getting tired. I'm starting to make mistakes. Um, tomorrow we've got the Sequoia add-on. Wednesday or Tuesday over on Deadset Digital, we've got an animated short film coming out. And on Wednesday here on Markham 3D, it's a f I did a short film in 45 minutes. Turned out pretty good. I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. Wednesday, that's Wednesday. And then Friday, I'll be doing another tutorial on something. I am starting to do shorts, not shorts, stories on YouTube mobile. So if you want to see some of the stories, I do some of um, just behind the scenes-ish. If you want to see me dropping a kangaroo hamburger, go check it out. So that's YouTube stories on mobile. Um, share the channel with your friends. I'm trying to grow that a little bit more. And yeah, let's leave it at that. And I will talk to you guys later. Thank you very much. Arrivederci. Bonjour. Merci. Bok. I can't remember the Indonesian one. But yeah. All right. See you later.